Hey folks, uh, Thomas here. How you guys doing? It's, uh, it's June, early June 2022, and I haven't did a very video in about a week. Um, so, this video uh, is uh, about the time where we got broken into. <laughs> um, so, it's a very interesting story. And uh, so, um, why do people break into other people's cars? Don't know. <laughs> so, uh, it's, so stick to the end, and uh, you'll you'll find out some interesting stuff. So, if you haven't already, check in the description about my links to my blog, also to. Uh, my affiliate marketing there's some discounts that I have available for you guys so you know check them out uh, might be something you might be interested in too just trying to save some money that's what we all trying to do right now we're trying to survive okay now the story takes place in about 1992 1991 and um, it was Barry and I we, we hooked up and we were uh, going down to uh, going towards downtown Baltimore, where one of his friends, his name is um, Carlton. Carlton was uh, a friend of Barry's for uh, since he went to went to college. So what was going on basically was uh, it was like a Friday night or Saturday night. You know, he just said, "Come on, let's let's go, boom, boom, boom." So uh, he picked me up, and we drove down. So. I had just gotten uh, this tape uh, with uh, Ross Trezvan, Sensitivity. I love that song. So I said, Barry, I got this tape. He said, he said what? Okay, yeah. So I said, um, I want to listen to it in your car. Because he, he always had his boom box and he had a good uh, sound system. And I love the song. So he said, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. He, uh, his, this is a time before the CD player, so so he had the tape player, you know. So he said, okay, let's do it. So he took out his tape, and then he put in my tape. I said, okay, fine. So we drove down, and we and we stopped at Boss, not Boss, I'm sorry, at Carlton's house. He was staying with some girl he met. Um, so I don't I don't know the girl, but I know Carlton. He, you know, he was... Pretty nice guy, you know. He was still going to college as well, uh, but he didn't finish. Barry didn't finish either. They were going to Coppin State. So, um, so we go down there, and it's like about maybe eight thirty, nine o'clock. So we 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 stopped. He pulled. It was uh in a um, it was in the hood. <laughs> it was a uh, what's it called? It would be called the Projects. <laughs> if you ever watched The Wire, the first season. That's what we're talking about. All right, so it was in the hood. So, so he said, okay. So we went over there, and, and we, we, you know, we went over his house. We, we chilled for about three, three hours, three and a half hours. So we, you know, we was listening to music. Then he wanted to go someplace else. I said, okay, all right. So as soon as we walked up there, uh, we knew that something was wrong because the light was on in the car. So he, he ran over there, and they said they took. All his tapes. <laughs> they took my tape. <laughs> they took his stuff. I wouldn't worry about his stuff. They took my tape. My world transfer was missing. <laughs> I was very feeling very sensitive at that time. He said, Oh man, don't worry about it. I'll get you a new tape. <sighs> I was like, Man, you know, that's I was heartbroken. So he never did give me the tape back, but I said, Psh. you know, he lost more than I did. So anyway. So so, never knew, found out who, who robbed his car, who robbed us, but I don't know. He could have left the door unlocked, too. I don't know. All I know is my tape was gone. <laughs> so, uh, that's one time. One time, another time, uh, in my own neighborhood, I had, uh, um, it was in, the, this is probably 1989, uh, I had just came back from Paris, France, and I did what you're not supposed to do, but I had some little cans of Sprite. 
And at the time, they were nowhere here in America. Now they're commonplace here. They're like, like maybe four ounce bottles or four ounce cans. So I brought like about five of them on the plane. And I was going to enjoy them. I went to my, my mother and my uh, sister and my nephew so they could enjoy the little small cans. So they weren't over here. So it was like kind of unique. I was like, oh man. But somebody broke into my car. <laughs> So not only did he take my, not only did he take my my soda, he took my he or she I don't know, he took my uh, speed detector, my radar detector. I was like, oh man. So you know, but I I had like a little beat up 1984 Chevette, so I wasn't too heartbroken but I was you know but somebody taking your stuff makes you feel like you've been violated and I did I said I'll give me another um, I'll give me another radar detector I never did but anyway I know people do this I mean come on now if I would have caught the sucker um, he would have uh, had some justice <laughs> yeah uh, Steven Seagal, also for justice, well, I would have been Steven Seagal plus. <laughs> anyway, if you guys take care. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to check out the uh, my blog and also uh, my links. Okay, you guys take care. Bye-bye.